Hello everyone. Now I am taking the concept essay writing. Let me begin with according to glossary of literary terms, an essay is a short composition in prose. It discusses a matter, expresses a point of view, or persuades us to accept a thesis on any subject. Essay discusses its subject in non-technical fashion. It is addressed to a general rather than a specialized audience. First, let me see what is an essay. It is a non-fictional piece of writing. It represents a certain idea. It gives arguments and encourages discussion. If we take any concept, essay writer, they write in their own ways. So, the different views encourages the discussion. <coughs> Essays are used to our understanding of specific ideas. It facilitates ability to explain a specific subject or idea in their own words. The concept is same but the idea is different according to the writer. Next move on, what can essay do? Why we are writing an essay? Essays bring together ideas, evidence and arguments to address a specific problem or question. If you take any question, if you take any concept, we will put ideas, different ideas based on some evidences. They enhance creativity. They explain and explore new elements. They support and develop an idea. They inculcate their own ideas to the topic. The ideas differ from one person to another person. It helps the reader to understand a particular topic. If you see any essay on any particular topic, if we complete the reading, we can understand, at least outline understand of the topic. It enlightens the reader about a particular topic. After completing the topic, we enlighten the idea of the particular concept. So, how should an essay be? It means any piece of literature has a format, how it should be. Like, the tone should be clear, the structure should be coherent, the structure means connectivity should be there. A writer should give appropriate evidence based on the present evidence we will write the essay. Purpose should be clear. Why we are writing the particular concept in essay format? That purpose should be clear. You should, we should use catchy vocabulary because any piece of literature, the understanding level depends on the vocabulary. What type of vocabulary we use. So, according to myself, vocabulary should be catchy. Then, let me say, what are the requirements of an essay? Essay needs to have a beginning or an introduction. Essay needs to have a body. In letter writing, uh, we will say body of the letter like that. In essay, it, it also needs uh, a body. Essay needs to have an ending that I can say conclusion. Each of these parts has a distinct function. Then what are the steps of the uh, essay writing? There are three steps. <coughs> First one, introduction. Second one, development of the subject that I can say body of the essay. And third one, conclusion. Now, let me see each steps. How an introduction should be? Introduction should introduce a topic to a reader. While reading the introduction, we can guess what will be the essay, what will be the concept of the essay. So like that, introduction should be clear. It is an opening hook to catch the reader's attention. If we read the introduction of a particular concept, it should take the reader's attention. It should state what the topic is by giving some general background information. It should help the reader to understand what you are writing. That is the second step, development of the subject. It should support your ideas. It should support your thesis. 
it should provide evidence it should have the purpose to present interpret and analyze the information whatever the information we are going to put in the essay that should analyze the concept present the evidence such as data examples attractive quotations from the relevant sources if we put all this data or examples or quotations the essay would be effective the third step is conclusion how it would be essay should have a strong conclusion tie together your main points what we have put the data and examples and all the things in the body of the essay the total points should come in the conclusion it should have a memorable or impactful sentence till now we have seen how an essay should be if we go to the students how we will extract the concept uh, among the students here i am taking the concept related to pollution particularly air pollution what is our motto our motto is students should write an essay in their own words so we are providing pictures because if i provide picture they they will give the vocabulary what they know either in mother tongue or second language so for that purpose i am providing a picture by providing the picture i extract the vocabulary related to the picture so i'll give what do you see in this picture maybe they will give they will say uh, smoke factories and chimneys what they are going to see so by extracting the vocabulary next i'll provide the words related to air pollution how the introduction should be air water and sun are the valuable gifts of nature we have to preserve it in nature there is a balance if this balance is upset there will be pollution air pollution is also one among the different types of pollution here i can extract the different types of pollution among the students they'll give air pollution noise pollution and uh, etc plastic pollution sound pollution like this related to air pollution i'll ask the questions the causes of the air pollution just by seeing the picture they will guess the causes they are seeing plastics garbage and smoke and everything next i'll give causes for air pollution poisonous gas let out by factories by burning plastic dumping more garbage more than these they'll give different types of causes next what do these pictures say for these pictures they'll give pataki hodiyodu mara kardirodu like that it means deforestation burning of crackers forest fire volcanic eruption what are the main man made causes and uh, uh, natural causes we are seeing in these pictures causes for air pollution related to that pictures burning of crackers forest fire deforestation volcanic eruption next i'll ask what do these pictures convey by seeing these pictures they can give the words uh, they are looking lungs and they are looking trees and uh, icebergs and the ozone layer distracted ozone layer so whatever they'll give just they have idea we can put the idea in the sentences like effects of air pollution air pollution causes asthma it causes blood pressure it causes nervous disease it causes acid rain and global warming it causes ozone layer is damaged causes 
imbalance in seasonal changes let me ask the question to the students by seeing these pictures what comes to your mind they may say cycle riding electric vehicles public transport and water drops air conditions next i'll provide the points like this how do we prevent air pollution we can prevent by growing more trees by popularizing cycles and electric vehicles by using public transport and by using filter polluted air in the factory areas minimize the use of air conditions and green belt around industries we can give the conclusion for this essay air pollution life without air is not possible on this earth creatures of the earth need air for their survival let us preserve this air for our future generation so i can conclude the session uh, by providing these pictures by visualizing these pictures in the minds of the students we can extract the ideas uh, and we can provide the data we can provide the examples as i say i may get the good essay among the students thank you